Ever since the World Bank has started its activities in the West Bank and Gaza, its mission has been clearly directed towards financing vital projects to help raise the living conditions of the Palestinians, which are gravely influenced by the existence of external closures and internal restrictions. The World Bank has been here in Palestine since 1994. And the reason we're here is to help Palestinians. And during those 10 or more years, the World Bank has financed the rehabilitation of roads, uh, the building of uh, new health centers, the building of uh, new schools, uh, sending children to high school and graduating from high school, even during the Intifada, basic infrastructure in water, sanitation, uh, and electricity. The Emergency Services Support Project was launched in 2002 to alleviate the effects of economic crisis by financing non-salary recurrent expenditures of key social ministries. The Emergency Services Support Project started in the beginning of 2002 and it was an initiative from the World Bank to meet the needs of the Palestinian National Authority, especially the ministries that offer basic services like health, education and social affairs. Obviously, the World Bank moved at the request of the Palestinian National Authority to support those sectors, especially that they were collapsing or have completely stopped, and to finance the provision of basic services offered by the ministries to Palestinian society. Under the third stage, we focused on the same sectors, but we added two new ones, which are the energy and water sectors. The current budget is $55 million, but what's more important for us is to cover the operational expenses for these ministries and to assist them in providing services for the Palestinian people. This medicine is not available in this clinic. Not all medicines are available. It costs 70 shekels. We are not receiving it at the moment at all. The Emergency Service Support Project is considered one of the most important projects. I consider it a life-saving project. Because without this project, the health system in the country would have collapsed. Now the project covers the operational expenses of the Ministry of Health, including all necessary funds to operate hospitals and health centers in Palestine as well as the cost of delivering needles that are used to inject patients, the delivery of medicine and medical equipment. The project also covers communication and transport expenses and gasoline for ambulances. The ESSP guarantees that the Ministry of Health continues to provide services to Palestinian society. The importance of the ESSP stems from the fact that it was established in a time of dire need. This project supported the budget of the Ministry of Social Affairs in a time when there were no resources in the Ministry of Finance. It has had a remarkable impact since it contributed to financing the purchase of a lot of equipment which facilitated the implementation of the ministry's activities and the provision of services to people throughout all the ministry's centers, including youth training centers, rehabilitation centers for the disabled, centers for the elderly, centers for juveniles, and centers for children and women's development. The project contributed to the development of all of these centers, which in turn facilitated our work.
نحن وصلنا لوضع اقتصادي صعب داخل الجامعة ومش جديد. We have reached a difficult economic situation at the university. This situation is not new to us, and it's happening at every university in the country. There is a lot of talk about the economic hardship that accumulated at the universities, especially due to the lack of operational funds. Also, there is a huge risk that existing Palestinian competencies in the country are leaving due to difficult economic conditions. This is a realistic and tangible risk. There have been joint interventions on behalf of the World Bank and the universities to reverse this condition. Previous World Bank activities in this area have been emphasized and the World Bank has been successful in supporting universities. The attempt of the World Bank or any donor to assist in training competencies within Palestine and within universities. In particular also, the possibility of bringing additional academic competencies are all initiatives that support the existence of academic institutions, which is an essential factor in the sustainability of Palestinian society. The position of the World Bank is one of the best positions that we have seen in terms of their receptivity to the current crisis and in their creativity and initiatives to deal with the crisis. They were not imposing in their opinions, but they were cooperative. They were supportive and creative in finding links and means of cooperation with the Palestinian Authority to meet and cover the basic needs of the Palestinian citizen.